All right, welcome to the absolute values fundamentals lesson. In this lesson, we're going to cover uh, solving absolute value equations. And the first thing you have to know is that the absolute value represents a distance. Uh, I know in school, they usually tell you if you want to find the absolute value, just take away the negative sign, right? So negative 3 equals 3, negative 20 equals 20. And we can show why this happens or why, why the heck do you do that. If you look at a number line, if I go from 0 to 2, how far did I go? I went a distance of 2, right? If I go from 0 to negative 2, how far did I go? Well, even though you went to negative 2, you still want a distance of 2. So that's all absolute value is doing there. You're just measuring a distance. So let's do some equations here. And the first thing we're going to work on is absolute values with the equal sign. These tend to be the easier ones. So let's, let me go through how you set this up. We have the absolute value of 5x minus 2 is equal to 13. So here's what you're going to do on test day to solve these. You're going to set up two separate sides here and the first thing you're going to do is write it over again. This is what I call our positive version. We're just writing the thing, just writing the equation over again. The second one when we rewrite it, we're going to set it equal to the negative number. Okay? That's going to be our negative version. And now you're just going to treat this like an equation and you're going to solve. So we'll add 2, and we'll go through the whole thing here. 5x is equal to 15. We'll divide by 5, and we get x. Yeah, you can still see that. x is equal to 3. So we solve for, the, for this side. Let's solve for the other one. We'll add the 2. We'll add the 2. We get 5x is equal to negative 11. We'll divide by 5, and we get x is equal to negative 11 fifths. So there are your two solutions and that's all you're going to do when you get an absolute value with an equal sign. You're going to set, you're going to do your positive version and you're going to do your negative version. Set it equal to the negative number. Let's do another one. Okay. So now we have two times the absolute value of 3y plus 1 is equal to 20. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this 2. I don't like that 2 hanging out over there. Get rid of that. So now I have the absolute value of 3y plus 1 is equal to 10. Now we're, good, we're just going to set it up the same way I just did. Two separate sides. We rewrite the equation as it is. And then we do it and set it equal to the negative number. Right? And now let's solve. Minus 1, minus 1. 3y is equal to 9. Divide by 3. Divide by 3 and we get y is equal to 3. Let's do the other one. Minus 1, minus 1. 3y equals negative 11. Divide by 3. y equals negative 11 thirds. And again, there are your two solutions, and you can plug them back in if you want just to check that they work, but they will work. Okay, so now we know how to solve absolute values when there's an equal sign. Uh, let's talk about, let me just set up the paper here. Let's talk about when we have those other symbols, like the greater than, less than, and all that stuff. So, absolute values are greater than, less than, all those signs. One key thing to remember, when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. That's really, really important. So let me take you through one here to show you it's slightly different than when you have the, equi uh, the equal sign. These are going to be slightly different problems. So you're going to set it up the same way, though. Your two sides. And we'll do 6x plus 2 is greater than 4. We just rewrote it. But this time, you have to flip the sign because you're doing the negative number. Okay? So you're going to flip the sign. And now you're just going to solve. Minus 2, minus 2. 6x is greater than 2. Divide by 6. And we get x is greater than, and I'll just put a third, I'll simplify. We'll do this side, minus 2, minus 2. 6x is less than negative 6. Divide by 6, divide by 6. x is less than negative 1. So you have a solution set here, and this is, uh, come test that you might want to do this. If you can't visualize it, draw a number line. Let's figure out where the heck our solution set lies. So if that's zero, I'll move this up just a little bit. 
If that's zero, we'll make that negative one. That will be a third. So x is less than negative one. Less is to the left. And it's going to be an open circle. Sorry about that. It's less than. It never equals negative one. So it's everything to the left. x is greater than a third. Never equals a third. So it's an open circle. And everything to the right. So anything to the right of one third or to the left of negative one should work or will work for this equation right here. It will satisfy that absolute value equation or the, the inequality. Um, okay, let's do another one. And this one's slightly harder, so this was a good one to finish on for the fundamentals lesson. We're going to separate it out like that, same way we've been doing. Write it again, negative 2y plus 6 is less than or equal to 18. And then we'll do negative 2y plus 6. And we have to flip the sign because we're doing the negative number. Okay. Let's solve. We get negative 2y is less than or equal to 12. Here's where we just got to remember our rule. We're dividing by a negative number, that negative 2. So what happens? We have to flip the sign. Okay. We had to flip that sign over. Let's solve this one. Minus the 6, minus the 6. Negative 2y is greater than or equal to negative 24. Okay. Now again, we're dividing by negative 2. We've got to flip the sign. So y is going to be less than or equal to uh, 12. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, if you can't visualize it, again, draw a number line. And let's see where this solution set is. If that's 0, we'll put negative 6 in. This will be 12. It doesn't have to look perfect. Uh, so y is going to be less than 12, or less than and equal to. So we can make a, a, a filled in dot here, since it's going to equal it. And less than, it's going to be to the left. So we'll start filling in to the left. This one says y is greater than or equal to negative 6. So greater than, we go to the right. And this is going to be a filled in dot as well. So this is where your solution set is. Anything in here should satisfy this inequality. Um, and we can test that too. Let's say we plug in 0 for y. Well, what does that mean? If, if that's going to be negative 2 times 0, which is just 0, and what's left over? Just the 6, right? So is the absolute value of 6 less than 18? Yeah, sure. 6 is less than 18. So that's why that works. Okay, so this was a good fundamental lesson, getting you guys comfortable with absolute values, uh, and especially in inequalities. They'll pop up every once in a while in the SAT. Uh, definitely look out for some future lessons. I'm going to be doing some tougher, uh, some tougher absolute value problems. All right, I'll see you there.